Welcome to Chronicles of Time Sleep Stories. Finding moments of peace in the hustle and bustle of our lives can be a big challenging. Our channel is your sanctuary, a place where captivating tales blend with soothing tones, guiding you toward restful slumber. Escape from the noise, let go of the day's stresses, and allow our stories to transport you to realms of tranquility and dreams. Whether you're seeking relaxation, meditation, or simply a good night's sleep, you're in the right place. So, settle in, close your eyes, and let the journey to serenity begin. In our unceasing journey through the corridors of life, moments of pure, unadulterated tranquility can sometimes seem as elusive as shadows at noon. The modern world is a symphony of endless noises, from the incessant hum of digital screens to the ceaseless whispers of obligations, commitments, and desires. In this symphony, our souls often search for a gentle lullaby a melodious escape, a chance to pause, breathe, and simply be. Now, as you find yourself here in the magic of this narrative oasis, know that you've stumbled upon a sanctuary, a world where serenity isn't just a luxury, but a promise. Picture, if you will, a secluded haven, nestled amidst nature's embrace, where the wind hums lullabies, and time itself seems to tread lightly. This is where we invite you to journey with us, a place of meditation, reflection, and utter calm. Begin by taking a deep, resolute breath. Feel the cool air grace your nostrils, traveling through the depths of your lungs, filling your being with the ancient rhythms of existence. And then, as you exhale, imagine releasing the shackles of worry, stress, and the relentless march of time. Each subsequent breath is a step deeper into the heart of tranquility, a dance with the universe, an affirmation of the present moment. We live in an era where the very essence of our existence often feels fragmented. Pulled in myriad directions by demands, expectations, and the invisible threads of technology, it's easy to lose oneself. But these tales, each a gem sculpted from the rich tapestries of imagination and insight, seek to offer you a bridge. A bridge not just to sleep, but that in itself is a cherished realm of restoration, but to a state of soulful relaxation, where the world narrows down to the here and now, where every heartbeat is a reminder of life's simple beauties. These stories are not just words. They are portals. They beckon you into worlds where the pace is gentler, the colors more vivid, and the sounds harmoniously aligned with the rhythms of the cosmos. Here, amidst these tales, you'll find characters and landscapes that resonate with the deepest parts of your psyche, invoking a sense of familiarity and nostalgia. They're like old friends or forgotten dreams, waiting to welcome you back. As you immerse yourself in these narratives, let the outside world fade into soft focus. Envision your stresses and anxieties as leaves carried away by a gentle stream disappearing beyond the horizon. Let the weight of expectation, the clamor of responsibilities, and the noise of uncertainty be replaced by the soothing cadences of these stories. Every word, every phrase is a brushstroke painting a world of peace, inviting you to step in and explore. Sleep, that precious gift, is not just a physical necessity, but a balm for the soul. It's nature's way of healing, restoring, and rejuvenating. 
As you stand at the threshold of dreams, these tales are the gentle hands guiding you towards restful slumber. They remind you of the beauty of surrender, of letting go, of drifting into the comforting embrace of night. So, dear listener, as you embark on this journey with us, know that you are not alone. Through the magic of these tales, we are with you, sharing in your quest for tranquility and deep, restorative sleep. Let these stories be your anchor, your lighthouse, guiding you away from the tempests of daily life and into the calm waters of relaxation and dreams. Welcome to our sanctuary. Let the journey to serenity begin. The Quest for Legendary El Dorado Chapter 1 The Keys of the Sun God Dr. Samantha Rodriguez stood amid the ancient ruins with a sensation of eagerness flowing from the parched dirt beneath her boots as the sun hung high in the cloudless sky. She had been passionate in discovering the mysteries of El Dorado, the mythical city of gold, after finding a set of keys decorated with elaborate symbols linked to the solar DDRA. The keys, once concealed in the dusty recesses of an ancient chamber, now rested in Dr. Rodriguez's gloved hands. Each key was a work of art, intricately carved with sunbursts and celestial motifs. According to the hieroglyphs found alongside the keys, they were said to be the guideposts to El Dorado, a city that had eluded explorers and adventurers for centuries. As the sun's rays filtered through the palm fronds overhead, Dr. Rodriguez gathered a team of experts, each chosen for their unique skills. There was Dr. Emily Carter, an archaeoastronomer specializing in ancient celestial navigation, Jackson Harris, a seasoned survivalist with an unparalleled knowledge of desert environments, and Professor Marcus Turner, a linguist skilled in deciphering ancient scripts. Their journey began in the desolate expanse of the Sahara Desert, where the keys were believed to align with the sun's position, revealing the elusive path to El Dorado. The team, equipped with supplies and fueled by the promise of discovery, embarked on a perilous trek through the shifting sands. The desert proved to be an unforgiving adversary, with scorching temperatures that tested the limits of the team's endurance. Dr. Rodriguez, however, remained undeterred, her determination fueled by the centuries-old tales of a city adorned in gold. The celestial keys, now hanging from a leather cord around her neck, seemed to resonate with the energy of the sun, guiding their way through the vast emptiness. As they traversed the dunes, the team encountered challenges that mirrored the harshness of the desert itself. Sandstorms whipped through the landscape, erasing any trace of their footprints and disorienting their sense of direction. It became a battle against nature, where survival depended on the team's ability to adapt and navigate the shifting terrain. The celestial keys, however, remained a constant beacon. When aligned with the sun's position, shadows cast by the keys revealed a mysterious pattern on the desert floor, a celestial map etched in sunlight. The team, now following this ethereal guide, pressed forward with a renewed sense of purpose. In their journey through the desert, the team stumbled upon ancient oases where palm trees provided shelter from the relentless sun. The oasis harbored remnants of an ancient civilization, pottery shards, weathered carvings, and faded murals that hinted at the presence of a once thriving culture. 
Among the relics discovered was a weather parchment that spoke of El Dorado as a city blessed by the sun god, a place where the pursuit of knowledge and the reverence for celestial forces had reached unparalleled heights. Dr. Rodriguez, entranced by the tales woven into the fabric of the past, saw the celestial keys as a bridge connecting the present to the mysteries of El Dorado. Their journey through the desert reached its zenith as the celestial keys, aligned with the setting sun, cast shadows that converged upon a specific point in the distance. As the team approached this convergence, the sands beneath their feet gave way to a hidden entrance, a stairwell leading deep into the earth. Descending into darkness, the team entered a subterranean chamber adorned with hieroglyphs that echoed tales of El Dorado's splendor. The celestial keys, now resonating with an otherworldly glow, unveiled the next flight of their journey, a path that led beyond the desert and into the uncharted realms of dense, ancient forests. As they emerged from the subterranean depths, the team stood at the threshold of a lush, verdant landscape, a stark contrast to the arid expanse they had traversed. The celestial keys, imbued with the essence of the sun, gleamed in the dappled sunlight that filtered through the dense canopy above. The journey, however, had just begun. The team, now faced with the challenges of navigating through the mysterious forests, prepared to delve into the heart of El Dorado's secrets hidden amidst the emerald foliage that awaited them. The tale of the keys of the sun god had transitioned from the arid deserts to the enchanted realms of ancient forests, setting the stage for an adventure that promised to unravel the enigma of El Dorado in the style of an epic quest. Chapter 2 Through Deserts and Dense Forests The dense forests, draped in shadows and mystery, welcomed the team as they ventured deeper into the heart of El Dorado's secrets. Dr. Samantha Rodriguez, her fingers tracing the contours of the celestial keys, led the way with an unwavering determination. The forest, like an ancient custodian, whispered tales of forgotten civilizations and concealed perils. The celestial keys, now aglow with a soft radiance that harmonized with the dappling sunlight, continued to guide the team through the lush foliage. Each step revealed a hidden realm, where the echoes of bygone civilizations resonated in the rustling leaves and the ancient trunks of towering trees. As they advanced, the team encountered a myriad of challenges, impenetrable thickets, treacherous ravines, and creatures unseen for centuries. Dr. Emily Carter, the archaeoastronomer, marveled at the celestial alignment of the forest canopy, which seemed to dance in harmony with the sun's rays. It was as if the very essence of El Dorado intertwined with the natural world, blending the mystical with the tangible. The celestial keys, now akin to a compass attuned to El Dorado's secrets, led the team to hidden clearings adorned with ancient stone structures. The remnants of an advanced civilization lay scattered amidst the undergrowth, statues, altars, and intricate carvings that told stories of a people deeply connected to the celestial forces. Dr. Marcus Turner, the linguist, deciphered inscriptions that spoke of rituals performed under the canopy's embrace. The sun, revered as a divine entity, played a central role in the lives of the forest-dwelling civilization. The team began to unravel the symbiotic relationship between the sun god and the lush wilderness, a harmony that defined El Dorado's essence, yet, the forest, with its enchanting beauty, held perils of its own. The celestial keys, when consulted, revealed hidden traps, 
pitfalls camouflage beneath a carpet of foliage triggered by pressure-sensitive mechanisms. It became a test of the team's collective wit and agility to navigate through this natural labyrinth. Their journey through the dense forests uncovered not only the physical remnants of the ancient civilization, but also an intricate understanding of their spiritual connection to the celestial realm. The celestial keys, it seemed, were not only a means of navigation, but also conduits to unlock the spiritual energies woven into the fabric of El Dorado. As night descended upon the forest, the team found themselves amid bioluminescent flora that bathed the surroundings in an ethereal glow. The celestial keys, now reflecting the luminescence of the environment, illuminated the path like mystical lanterns leading the way through the nocturnal realm. The forest, with its secrets and challenges, gave way to a towering mountain range that stood as a sentinel guarding El Dorado's core. The celestial keys, once again attuned to the sun's position, guided the team upwards through rocky terrain and ancient trails carved into the mountainside. The ascent brought them to a vantage point where El Dorado unfurled below, an awe-inspiring panorama of golden structures nestled amidst the green expanse. The celestial keys, now resonating with an intensity that mirrored the sun's zenith, pointed towards a distant citadel, the heart of El Dorado. Descending into the city's embrace, the team found themselves amidst streets adorned with intricate mosaics and grand plazas lined with statues of sun deities. El Dorado, bathed in the golden glow of the setting sun, revealed a level of opulence that surpassed even the most extravagant legends. Yet, the team's elation was tempered by a realization that the pursuit of wealth had come at a cost. El Dorado's grandeur was juxtaposed with crumbling structures and the silent echoes of a civilization's decline. It became evident that the sun worshipping society had faced challenges, perhaps driven by the very riches they had sought. As they explored the city's labyrinthine streets, the celestial keys guided the team to an ancient library hidden within El Dorado's heart. Scrolls and codices, adorned with celestial motifs, contained the accumulated wisdom of a civilization that had grappled with the complexities of their sun-centric existence. The celestial keys, when placed within a central chamber of the library, triggered a holographic display that told the story of El Dorado's rise and fall. The civilization, once harmoniously connected to the celestial forces, had faced internal strife fueled by the allure of limitless wealth. It was a cautionary tale etched in light, a reminder of the delicate balance between reverence for the celestial and the responsible stewardship of earthly treasures. As the holographic display faded, the celestial keys, now infused with the accumulated knowledge of El Dorado, resonated with a profound energy. Dr. Rodriguez and her team, standing in the heart of the city, felt a weighty responsibility. The celestial keys, once sought as a means to riches, now held the wisdom to guide humanity towards a more balanced and sustainable existence. With the celestial keys in hand, the team retraced their steps through the dense forests, descending the mountainside and crossing the treacherous desert. The journey had transformed into a sacred quest, one that transcended the allure of gold and revealed the timeless connection between humanity, nature, and the celestial forces that governed El Dorado. As they emerged from the dense forests, the celestial keys, now glowing with a serene radiance, seemed to resonate with the pulse of the natural world. The tale of their adventure, 
from the arid deserts to the enchanted forests and the golden city of El Dorado, became a testament to the enduring power of exploration and the symbiotic relationship between humanity and the celestial forces that shape our existence. Dr. Rodriguez and her team, now bearers of El Dorado's wisdom, stood at the threshold of a new chapter, one where the keys of the sun god held the potential to inspire a harmonious coexistence with the treasures of both earth and sky. Chapter 3. The Lost City of Gold The Celestial Keys, now imbued with the accumulated wisdom of El Dorado, resonated with a newfound energy as Dr. Samantha Rodriguez and her team emerged from the dense forests. Their journey had taken them through the arid deserts, enchanted forests, and now they stood at the precipice of El Dorado, the fabled city of gold. The celestial keys, glowing with an ethereal radiance, seemed to pulsate in anticipation as they approached the city's entrance. The entrance to El Dorado, revealed by the celestial keys in the heart of the dense forest, opened into a grand plaza adorned with golden statues and intricate mosaics. The team, their eyes wide with wonder, stepped onto streets paved with glistening stones that reflected the brilliance of the setting sun. El Dorado, bathed in the golden hues of twilight, exuded an opulence that surpassed even the grandest of legends. The celestial keys, now the focal point of the team's attention, guided them through the labyrinthine streets. Each step revealed architectural marvels, a testament to the advanced engineering skills of the ancient Eldoradians. Massive golden arches adorned with celestial symbols towered above, casting long shadows that danced with the celestial key's radiance. The team's journey through El Dorado brought them to grand plazas where the remnants of sunlit ceremonies lingered in the air. The celestial keys, when aligned with specific landmarks, revealed holographic projections that depicted scenes of El Dorado's golden age. The people, draped in elaborate garments, engaged in rituals that celebrated the sun's divine influence. As they explored deeper, the team uncovered structures that seemed to harness the power of the sun itself. Solar collectors adorned the rooftops, capturing the sun's energy to illuminate the city at night and power intricate mechanisms that maintain the city's functionality. El Dorado, it seemed, was not just a city of gold but a marvel of sustainable and celestial-centric technology. However, the celestial keys, now pulsating with an urgency, hinted at the darker side of El Dorado's history. The team encountered dilapidated structures and areas that bore the scars of internal strife. Murals depicted conflicts fueled by the very wealth El Dorado sought to protect. It became clear that the pursuit of gold had led to the city's decline, highlighting the delicate balance between reverence for the celestial and the responsible stewardship of earthly treasures. Their exploration led them to a central citadel, an imposing structure that rose above the Golden City. The celestial keys, when placed within a ceremonial chamber, triggered an intricate mechanism that revealed a hidden passage leading deep into the heart of the citadel. As they descended into the subterranean depths, the team felt the temperature drop, and the air became heavy with the weight of history. In the subterranean chambers, the team discovered a vast library containing scrolls and codices that chronicled El Dorado's rise and fall. The celestial keys, now acting as conduits to the city's collective memory, displayed holographic images that depicted the societal shifts and conflicts that had led to El Dorado's demise. 
It was a tale of ambition and consequence, a civilization that had harnessed the power of the sun but succumbed to the very wealth it sought to protect. The celestial keys, acting as witnesses to El Dorado's history, conveyed a powerful message about the importance of balance and humility in the face of nature's bounty. As the holographic display faded, the team found themselves standing in a chamber that held the culmination of El Dorado's mysteries. A massive vault, adorned with celestial motifs, housed the city's most treasured artifacts. Among them was a golden disc, intricately engraved with depictions of the sun and celestial bodies. The celestial keys, when brought close to the disc, resonated with an undeniable energy. In a moment of revelation, the celestial keys, the golden disc, and the accumulated wisdom of El Dorado merged into a unified force. The team, standing at the nexus of ancient knowledge, felt a surge of energy that transcended time and space. It was a communion with the celestial forces that had shaped El Dorado's destiny. As the celestial keys pulsed with newfound energy, the golden disk levitated from its pedestal. Symbols and glyphs projected from the disk, creating a celestial map that extended beyond the confines of El Dorado. The team realized that the golden city, once shrouded in mystery, was not an isolated marvel but part of a vast network of celestial connections. The celestial keys, now attuned to the celestial map, revealed hidden pathways that extended beyond El Dorado's borders. It was a revelation that El Dorado was not just a city of gold, but a nexus of celestial energies that connected ancient civilizations across the globe. The team, now stewards of El Dorado's wisdom and the celestial keys, faced a choice. They could keep this profound knowledge hidden, safeguard it from those who might exploit it or share it with the world. Dr. Rodriguez, guided by a sense of responsibility, chose the latter, recognizing that El Dorado's legacy held the potential to inspire a new era of harmonious coexistence between humanity and the celestial forces. As the team emerged from El Dorado's subterranean depths, the celestial keys, the golden disk, and the accumulated wisdom of the city became a beacon of enlightenment. The tale of El Dorado, once shrouded in myth, had transformed into a testament to the enduring power of exploration, the delicate balance between reverence for the celestial and the responsible stewardship of earthly treasures. The team, now returning to the world beyond El Dorado, carried with them not just gold, but a wealth of wisdom that transcended the ages. The celestial keys, still glowing with the radiant energy of the sun, resonated with the heartbeat of the cosmos. The journey through El Dorado had become an odyssey that connected the past, present, and future a saga of celestial proportions that would echo through the annals of history. Chapter 4 Perils of the Golden Sun As Dr. Samantha Rodriguez and her team emerged from the depths of El Dorado, the celestial keys and the golden disc now in their possession, they faced a city transformed. The once gleaming streets now held an ethereal glow, a luminosity that echoed the celestial energies harnessed by the ancient civilization. The golden disc, cradled in Dr. Rodriguez's hands, seemed to resonate with the very essence of El Dorado. However, their moment of revelation was interrupted by a low, ominous rumble that reverberated through the city. The ground beneath them trembled, and the celestial keys pulsed with an urgency that mirrored the impending danger. 
El Dorado, it seemed, held one final secret, an ancient defense mechanism activated by the disturbance caused by their presence. As the team hurriedly navigated the labyrinthine streets, the celestial keys guided them towards the city's perimeter. The golden disk, still projecting the celestial map, revealed an exit through a concealed passage. The air, charged with tension, spurred the team into swift action as the ground continued to shake. El Dorado, once a city of wonder, transformed into a perilous maze. Mechanisms designed to protect the city's treasures now posed a threat to the intruders who dared disturb its ancient slumber. The Celestial Keys, now a lifeline, guided the team through collapsing structures and shifting passages as they raced against time to reach the safety of the hidden exit. In a cinematic sequence reminiscent of In Great Escapade, the team faced pressure-sensitive plates that triggered cascading traps, swinging pendulums that threatened to sweep them off their feet, and collapsing bridges that forced them to navigate treacherous chasms. The celestial keys, reacting to the danger, illuminated the safest paths with a pulsating light, guiding the team through the perils of El Dorado's defense mechanisms. As they neared the exit, a massive chamber revealed itself, a central control room where the mechanisms governing El Dorado's defenses were orchestrated. The celestial keys, when placed within an ancient console, resonated with the control mechanisms, allowing the team to temporarily deactivate the city's traps. It was a moment of respite amidst the chaos, a chance to gather their bearings before facing the final challenge. As the team pressed on towards the hidden exit, the celestial keys guided them through a series of interconnecting tunnels. The golden disk, still projecting the celestial map, revealed the subterranean network of passages that extended beyond El Dorado's borders. The danger, however, persisted as the city's defenses adapted to their movements, creating a race against an ancient intelligence that sought to protect the city's sanctity. The climax of their escape unfolded in a vast cavern, the final threshold before freedom. The celestial keys, now pulsating with a rhythmic intensity, guided the team towards a narrow passage leading to the surface. El Dorado's defenses, however, intensified in a final attempt to thwart the intruders. Giant stone doors, adorned with celestial symbols, began to close, threatening to seal the team within the depths of El Dorado. With seconds to spare, Dr. Rodriguez, driven by instinct, inserted the celestial keys into intricate locks within the passage. The celestial keys, responding to the ancient mechanisms, halted the closing doors and revealed the way to freedom. As the team emerged from El Dorado, the golden disk projecting a celestial map that extended beyond the city's boundaries, they witnessed the culmination of their adventure. The celestial keys, now in perfect alignment with the sun sinking below the horizon, emitted a radiant energy that echoed the sun's farewell. El Dorado its ancient mysteries unveiled, seemed to breathe a sigh of relief as the ground ceased its tremors. The celestial keys, no longer pulsating with urgency, became a symbol of triumph, a testament to the team's resilience and their ability to navigate the perils of El Dorado. The golden disk, still cradled in Dr. Rodriguez's hands, resonated with the accumulated wisdom of the ancient city, now etched into the team's collective memory. As they stood on the outskirts of El Dorado, the celestial keys guided them towards the horizon. 
The celestial map projected by the golden disk revealed pathways that extended far beyond the confines of El Dorado. The adventure, it seemed, was not confined to the city's limits but continued into the unexplored realms that awaited them. The team, their journey through El Dorado etched into their very beings, faced a choice. They could return to the modern world with their newfound knowledge, safeguarding the wisdom of El Dorado, or embark on a new chapter of exploration guided by the celestial map. Dr. Rodriguez, inspired by the profound connection between the celestial and the earthly, chose to share El Dorado's legacy with the world. As the team emerged from the ancient city, the celestial keys and the golden disk in tow, they found themselves on a path that echoed the celestial map projected by the disk. Their adventure, now extending beyond the golden city, became a quest to uncover the interconnected mysteries of ancient civilizations around the globe. The tale of El Dorado, once a myth shrouded in gold, transformed into a beacon of enlightenment. Dr. Samantha Rodriguez and her team, now bearers of the celestial keys and the golden disk, stood at the crossroads of history and exploration. The celestial keys, still aglow with the energy of El Dorado, beckoned them towards a future where the treasures of both the earthly and celestial realms awaited discovery. The adventure, it seemed, had only just begun.